In this video, we will focus on group 7 elements, which we call the halogens. Group 7 elements are called the halogens. The elements in this group are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astadine. Halogens are non-metals that exist as molecules. Each molecule is made of two atoms covalently bonded together. Hence, we call them diatomic molecules. The forces between the molecules are weak. Little amount of energy is required to overcome these weak intermolecular forces of attraction. Hence, the melting point and boiling point of halogens are low. The melting points and boiling points increase down the group. At room conditions, fluorine and chlorine exist as gases, bromine exists as liquid, while iodine exists as solid. All the halogens are colored. The color intensity increases down the group. Fluorine is pale yellow, chlorine is pale yellow green, bromine is reddish brown, while iodine is purplish black. All the halogens are poisonous and must be handled carefully in the chemistry lab. Halogens are very reactive non-metals. They react with metals to form ionic salts. For example, sodium burns in chlorine to form sodium chloride. A bright flame is observed in this reaction. Halogens form an ion with a charge of negative 1. Each halogen atom has 7 electrons in the valence shell. One electron is taken in to achieve stable noble gas octet electronic configuration. The ions of halogens are called halides. Ion of fluorine is fluoride. Ion of chlorine is chloride. Ion of bromine is bromide. And that of iodine is iodide. We realize that when ion is formed, the name has changed from INE to IDE. The compounds that halogens form with metals are all ionic. The halogens become less reactive down the group. Fluorine is the most reactive non-metal in the periodic table. Chlorine is more reactive than bromine, and bromine is more reactive than iodine. The interesting reaction halogens can undergo is displacement reaction. A more reactive halogen can displace a less reactive halogen from its halide solution. For example, we have potassium iodide. When chlorine is added to potassium iodide, the more reactive chlorine will take the place of iodine, forming potassium chloride, leaving iodine back as an element. The more reactive chlorine displaces less reactive iodine from aqueous potassium iodide forming potassium chloride and iodine. Interesting observation can be made in this reaction. Pale greenish yellow chlorine gas is bubbled into colorless solution of potassium iodide. A brown solution is observed due to the formation of iodine. If we convert this chemical equation to ionic equation, this is what we will have. Cancel away the spectator ions, which in this case the potassium ion, we will have this ionic equation. Do note that this is a redox reaction. Here you can see that the oxidation state of chlorine decreases from 0 in Cl2 to negative 1 in Cl-, while oxidation state of iodine increases from negative 1 in I- to 0 in I2. Hence, chlorine has been reduced and iodide has been oxidized. Chlorine is the oxidizing agent, while potassium iodide is the reducing agent. In a nutshell, halogens are non-metals and exist as diatomic covalent molecules. Their melting and boiling points are low and increase down the group. These elements are colored, and color intensity increases down the group. They are all reactive, and reactivity decreases down the group. The more reactive halogen displaces a less reactive halogen from its halide solution. Or halogens are powerful oxidizing agents. In the next video, we will focus on noble gases and transition elements. 
Do remember to like this video and share with your friends if you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.